Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Emma and Georgia and today we are watching How to Get Away with Murder Season 3 Episode 10. If you want to watch our uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon is down below. So, last episode. <laughs> last episode. Do we have to say it? <laughs> last oh, I'm gonna episode. gonna start crying all over again. <laughs> Oh god, I'm not ready. This is the last episode. We found out that Wes was the one who was under the sheet and Annalise is now in prison for it because someone has given evidence as an anonymous source that she was the one that started the fire. So Wes obviously was not that person. So like they baited no. us there, making us they think did. that he was the one that did. Because the police were questioning him and were trying to get information out of him yeah just because they want to put Annalise behind bars and it turned out that was Where's... for Rebecca's murder because they found Rebecca's yeah. body which actually like Wes didn't know that she had a part in so, that so that's so funny well not funny <laughs> it's so crazy that Wes died not knowing Rebecca's fate like it never got revealed to him what happened to her oh that's sad that's really but sad. That's just made me oh. think of another contrast, actually. He shot Annalise in season two, episode nine, because she told him that she killed Rebecca, but she then later told him that she didn't have a part in it. So then in season three, episode nine, he dies after finding out that she did have something to do with it again. <laughs> oh, like, Rebecca is just bad news for Wes in every sense. I dislike how Rebecca has such an effect on everything still like yeah. she's still talked about and now she's getting brought up again literally her body is getting brought up so oh, oh. we'll see what happens with that but always oh, rest in peace my favorite character of all time just a show just a show <laughs> but I love him very he's much. definitely up there to be fair with all time favorite characters I love him he's a very likable character so mm. it's really sad to see him go but oh we'll, we'll still get flashbacks I'm still gonna get the flashbacks and I may or may not cry at some point <laughs> I don't want to see a world without Wes but I also need to know who killed him so I can hate them forever yeah. more <laughs> I know I want I want to seek revenge for Wes. Mm -hmm. We need to find the person that did this. This is a very highly saturated this, scene. This, this is, is a flashback. Yeah, this is a flashback. Oh, oh stop it! Oh, yeah. I take it that's Maggie? He looks so happy so for once. An introduction. That would be weird, right? Is this like an alternative ending? Just so I have a meeting. No, <laughs> it's a flashback. Just... Okay, I don't know. It's just a bit weird. They look too happy. We're transferring you to county until your bail hearing. Well, oh. up and at him. Why are they treating her at least this way? Because <laughs> I think she did it. She didn't. Oh. How many oh, times do they have to show this? <laughs> we don't want to see it! Yeah, because they autopsy. said it was uh... It was like damage to the vocalist's extremities So you said you thought he might have been strangled well, I can put two and two together here, that's what it's looking like I can't believe I'm seeing Annalise in prison uniform mm. All the things she's done and she's gone to prison for the worst things Possible. Oh, oh. Wes died before the fire. She probably the knows. Told me. Frank. No. Frank. No. Where is he then? I think she just thinks oh, that. To his face. Frank is a plausible person that could have done this. I don't think he loves Laurel that much. No one knows what happened. Police seem pretty confident that this was Annalise. Someone's framing her. Tom, I'm sorry. Why would you be sorry? For her loss? <laughs> I don't you know. Okay? Don't tell me I should no. do it. You should come back with us. I think I'm just gonna go home. It's the Mahoney's. They must have found out Wes as well as his son. Could be they the knew him. They have money to make whatever yeah, they Yeah, he did just testify. You'll have to do this. Body. No. 
everybody be her representative? Well, why isn't Winnie trust oh. me? You need the best. We're under attack here. Yeah, she knows everything. Oh, bloody don't screw this up. I was on the pill when I was 17. That night I turned to my mother. Anxious and depressed. I'm fine. I just had my period, so... Maybe? Oh. Yeah, I'm just being paranoid. She no. might think... I'm sorry. Yeah. This is like... Them it's not your fault. Afterwards. It no, it's the condom manufacturer's fault. Yeah, so it, yeah, it did break. If it wasn't so big, it never would have broken. <laughs> <laughs> Humble brag was. <laughs> Why are they showing him so happy after he dead? I know, this is so cruel. I just heard a, a noise coming from upstairs. And then I woke up here. Oh, so she didn't see him dead. You're mm. trying to charge her with my attempted murder, right? Mm, with more than that, Laurel. Yeah, they just didn't do this. Because you know who did? It's your job to figure out. Thanks, she won't name drop, Frank. Mom. Oh, she's gone, isn't she? Thanks for the plane ticket. I'm sorry. I told her to go. But I think part of her wanted her to stay. I'm upset because our friend is dead. Not because of that terrible woman. Did you really just call Weightless your friend? Whoa! Kind of recall you hating him. Connor, do you not speak ill of him. None of them really treated him like a friend. No. And Connor, I don't like your attitude, mate. Mm, Connor's should... never good in a crisis, is he? No. You were with Wes since the start. I know a lot of sh stuff has happened, but you should have some sympathy. Soon you get over it, the better. These girls don't care. <laughs> I'm God. sure you don't, like, after a while. See, it's easy. Bitch. <laughs> Will you just leave her Bitch. be? Bitch. <laughs> I don't so... need to drown you in your own piss. Oh. <laughs> She's lovely. I thought she might disclose key evidence for us. To be clear, you did this on your own. No one in this office cleared you to do I thought that. he quit this job. No. I'm Mate, so I'm confused sorry. with Nate and his We're going to need a reassess your position here. Or maybe he'll stay with them now to, like, get information and help Annalise, maybe. Oh, you're my girlfriend. That's the best excuse you could come up with? <laughs> Baby Trump? Mm, it's not an excuse. You look just like her. You might know her, Michaela Pratt. I might know her because she's black. We all look like her. What is your... That's not what I meant. Not from the front, but from the back. You do kind of look like her. See? Not a racist. I just think you're white. <sighs> Please don't tell Michaela. <laughs> Oh, is there going to be flashbacks of all of them having a nice moment with Wes? I like it, but also I don't because it's making me remember Wes. Or maybe you're lying to me the same way you lied about the night of the bonfire. Oh. Oh. Sam Keating went missing that night. Oh, don't unpack His this now. His found a few weeks later. Did you all do that? The minute you tell me I'm guilty too. Yeah, right? the least you know the it's better. Conspiracy to commit murder. I feel bad for Oliver because he hasn't found out, but he's mm. suspecting of his ex-boyfriend, who he loved very much, that he is could possibly be a murderer. Yeah, that he must, must really want to know so bad, but if he does know, like, yeah. he'd be faced with everything that they've gone through now. Why'd you go to her last night if you didn't want to help? So I could look her in the eye and see if she did this. How could anyone she believe didn't. she did? Yeah. For a fact. This is Wes. Oh, our own home. I want to look. So oh, this is so embarrassing. No, I I want to dig a hole and cry. At least the other one was wasn't in there. Oh, she's oh, coming back. Oh, hey, you oh. Now you got a visit. Oh, well, can you let her finish? Don't forget to break. Frank. You need all the help Frank. you can get. Frank's still doing dodgy shit, I think. Why's he got all that money? <gasps> He's... Oh my god, has he bribed a police officer? Yeah, probably for info. Yeah, this. He's not. He's not? Corruption. God, corruption? Call up from the station last night. He Every call promised his body. <laughs> what would Sam say right now? Oh, don't bring his name into the equation. As good as Annalise. Good empowerment, Frank. Do you want me to call them? Mm, I just make it worse. 
Oh yeah, let's not bring her dad back. How do you know that she didn't do this? Or that she's I'm coming for one of us so next? Stupid. It was the West testified against them. How do we know this wasn't you? What? Can you imagine? <laughs> Uh, you should just get an abortion now because weightless isn't the type of Oh thing my god! Well, he can't be a father oh, now! That, that, that was I don't like buttons. That was deserved. Oh my god! That is disgusting what Connor said. Wes would have been a great father. They allowed killers in there. Still got to get the digs in. What do you want? <laughs> what is he like? I just like looking at you. Same. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> oh, wow. Asha really busted him up. Said something stupid. Said a couple of stupid things. Grief makes people do stupid things. You're stupid, Colin. I'm just not crying about it every second like you. Okay, well, what about when your mom left? That clearly hurt you. We're dealing with people go through right different now. stages of grief. Right no one grieves the same. This is dead. That doesn't mean you get to act like an animal. But Connor was also I mean, acting really bad. I don't like this. Why is this gone so bad? They should be looking out for Laurel right now. And they've made it all about themselves. Hannah Keating called the police at 10.30 that night. It was after the fire started. Hannah Keating? I don't know. That, that bitch is back. Because she knew it was going to happen. Who has hated my black ass living in my mommy and daddy's house? So take it, Hannah. Do not say Annalise. <laughs> <laughs> Laurel. <gasps> he told her. Told You're worried Frank's gonna find out. He'll kill you. You know that. We're happy. No, he won't. He won't. <sighs> Imagine if it is actually Hannah. You burned a boy in your house. They wouldn't spell out for us like this. Or that's what I heard the guards say. You was wearing this bad ass red leather jacket. <laughs> She's Hell always yeah. looking bad ass. The Malaysian <laughs> tracks flowing. Why can't this queen defend me? Yeah. Oh. Jacked oh. up, ain't it? Oh, at least we'd have defended you. I like this lady. Any effort to deny my client bail must be based on credible evidence, but the state's case is based on an anonymous source. Objection. Speculative. My client was arrested before an <laughs> autopsy of the victim could be conducted. May I ask why you don't want to reveal this source? We Come are protecting on. their safety, Your Honor. He was well, certainly the bit. there's Come additional on. evidence you could offer the court to prank? prove that the defendant should remain in custody until the trial. Otherwise, I'm inclined to set bail. Oh, yes. I'm not just going to go turn I'm gonna you in. I'm going to be fine, okay? You're my life, You can find Connor. someone better. Don't say that. Oh, this... I slept with Thomas. <sighs> Connor feels guilty, I think. And so he yeah. wants consequences. Oh. You just slept with him to hurt me. Yeah, and I'm going to continue to hurt you. It's, no, you're not. It's what I do. It's who, it's who I am. It's who we all are. We are bad people. No, no you're not. Look, I don't even care that Wes is dead. I don't. I feel nothing. You're numb. Please just do what I never could. You're bleeding. Well, I don't know what to suggest for Connor because he's he needs to grieve. I think he's just he's punishing not, himself. I know, he's not thinking straight. I've been running point on an investigation into Annalise Keating's potential involvement in a number of unsolved crimes. Oh no, they're gonna we dig approached this up. Wesley Gibbons with an immunity deal no. in exchange for his cooperation. He made notations which prove he was about to accept the terms. No, he wasn't. If he didn't sign this, because he fucking left. Hours, the Mahoney family had motive to kill Mr. Gibbons. Miss Winterbottom, you asked for more evidence. This is it. But your honor, but I'm denying Mr. Keating's request for bail. What? Oh, oh, this is bullshit. Well, you couldn't even win that. It's just the beginning. At least it doesn't look like she has Did much hope. Just... She looks like she's given up, and I don't yeah. like it. I reckon she might be doing the Connor approach and she wants consequences because she's lost Wes. It's not behaviour I can handle. I know. I'm not sure. I'm not the only one you need to apologise to. Who worked for her and ultimately was murdered by her. The current charges she seems to be willing to hear him out. Oh. first degree murder. Oh, what are you doing? He kept a copy? The Mr. Gibbons' cause of death is asphyxiation due to smoke inhalation. No! This reaffirms our belief. That's not true. Have they faked that? Was it you? No. It should have been you. 
I agree. <laughs> He'd still be alive if he would have just stayed away. I don't know. I don't think we can point fingers at this point. I loved him so much more than I have ever loved you. Oh, she's oh. punching the gut. Oh. Should have been you. I feel for Frank here. <laughs> He was going to shoot himself a couple of days ago. She must, she, I don't think she's eaten in days. About the murder of Wes Gibbons. Oh. What about it? He's going to put it on him. I did it. He didn't do it. He's, this is just because of what Laurel said. And he's feeling guilty and he's doing this for her. Get in. Come on. It's time we talk. What? Okay. Oh, and they leave it like that. I don't. Oh, this is cruel. I don't believe it was Frank at all. No, I don't. I don't at all. Frank's doing this because he feels guilty because of Laurel, what she said. You know, he's hurt. And for killing Annalise's baby indirectly. I feel like he's just doing it for them too. Because he feels guilty. I think he that also, like, still needs to make things up to Annalise. So. He He's does, do and I think this is his way out. of doing it. I think this is totally just him finally being accountable. I like that he's he's willing to do he, like he's willing to do this, but it doesn't explain what happens because we know it's not Frank. It can't be. It's not looking like it's him. I want to know what actually happens, and if he does this, then that person will get away with it. Yeah, if he admits to it, the person who actually did it will... He gets away with it scot-free, like, what's all that about? I think a lot of them feel guilty for things, so they're acting out, like Connor especially, and now... Prime example. Frank as well, because he's turning himself in. And I also think Annalise is doing the same, because... She feels guilty because why she thinks Wes is dead because of her because she's always said to him like everything is her fault because she took him off the wait list and his whole life has been shit since then. So I think she's not giving Bonnie any help in her case because she doesn't really want to be let out because she feels like she deserves it. They're all trying to be selfless and in result it's not helping at all. Like yeah. I don't know, it's it's really heavy at the moment. Like, I re like Connor. This episode really annoyed me. Like, mm. like, this is the worst I've hated Connor in one episode. He's his way of grieving. If this is him grieving, it, <laughs> it's odd. Laurel has just told you Wes is the father of her child. You do not say what you did. In say what you said in front of her when she's at her when she's so weak at the moment. Like, yeah. what is that? She nearly, like that she was and her so baby nearly died. She's just lost mm. the father of her baby and he's telling her to get an abortion. Yeah. That's sick. L literally, like saying he wasn't, he was a, gonna, gonna be a shit father, like she should get an abortion. Like that's so messed up. And I'm sorry, Michaela. I think Asher's in his right to hit him. <laughs> like, I hate that Michaela I, was more mad at Asher in that situation. I know. I was like, I was just thinking like, Michaela, Although violence isn't a good thing, but Connie just slapped. He cannot get away with saying that. And I I think Asher is in his right to lash out at that because that is so inappropriate and nasty. Yeah. And the whole time, Michaela was just screaming at Asher and she wasn't even mad at Connor. If she claims to care about Laurel the way she does, she would have been angry at Connor. Yeah, it's weird. I... I really don't understand. Like she could be mad at both of them, but I'm more mad at Connor, Connor personally. Unless like maybe, like did she get abused growing up that we don't know about or something? Maybe she has a personal There's... history of violence that she doesn't like. Mm. I think this runs deeper than we think. I think because we don't know, we still don't know a lot about Michaela's home, uh, like family history, home life, backstory. Yeah. This, mm. I think she's dealing with a lot of trauma that I feel like a lot is heavy on her shoulders that she hasn't because she keeps a lot of things private and I think she is dealing with stuff behind the scenes and I think that triggered her a lot yeah. and that is understandable I just feel like that might have been <sighs> one of the things that she would have brought up to her mum when her mum came back but 
I, I don't know. There's probably more to the story there yeah. that we don't know about. I, and yeah, I think we're going to. I really don't know who killed Wes. Did he actually die of smoke inhalation or was he dead before the fire? Well, we don't know. Like, it's so odd. Like, she said originally that she thinks he died before, but now we find out she did a full autopsy. Mm. He died due to the smoke. Fire. Did they pay her off or something? Well, I don't know. Makes you wonder. I don't... Oh, legally, shouldn't... They can't. Like, I don't know can't. who did it. I... Who would want to? I don't I... know. Do you think, if it was just a fire, I guess, do you think someone did it, set fire to the house without knowing someone was in there? Or do you think that that it was intentional for Wes to die. I'm leaning more on it being unintentional. I think setting fire to that house was a personal attack for Annalise. Because I'm steering more towards Hannah at the moment because her name has been brought up now. Annalise sent her that voicemail. Yeah. She has a motive to get... That's her house, apparently. She thinks Annalise killed... Sam, her brother, so she has motive, and she probably she, like she wouldn't care about Wes at all. So I think she did just to get rid of that house because if she can't have it, no one can. That's what I'm seeing it as. I think she's a red herring. It's hard to get away with murder. They're not gonna like hint at it straight away after it's just happened. They're gonna leave us in suspense, mm. so it's gonna be a surprise. So I like if they hadn't mentioned Hannah, it would have been shocking. Like. For, it to, for us to be sussing all the main characters and then Hannah comes out of the woodwork having set fire to it like that would have been a massive shock but mm. they've mentioned her now so mm. I'm immediately ruling her out it's gonna be someone completely different I'm, I think yeah I don't think I don't think it's Connor because Asha speculated and it was sus that it could have been Connor but I don't think he is capable of setting fire to that house I don't know if he is I, but, I dislike who, him a lot at the moment, but I don't think he'd do that. Yeah, I always tend to dislike Connor when, like, one of the deaths and stuff happens because he's always, you know, he he lashes out. Yeah, I guess it's just the way he is and how yeah. he grieves. He just gets angry. But I think he gets angry at the wrong people and at the wrong things. But it's just himself projecting. I'm gonna give this an eight point three out of ten. I, it was very gripping, very good episode. I just really liked it. Like I just like it, it just hooks you in. Like there was so much information, kind of like every direction. I liked it. Yeah. Nothing bad. I, apart from the whole, I, I didn't really like the Connor scenes because I just don't like Connor at the moment. But <laughs> I think it was a really good episode. I'm gonna go an eight point five. Um, I felt like it was quite. An emotional episode, it made me tear up a couple of times because I just hate seeing like Annalise stuck in jail like when she was crying eating that sandwich I was like oh my god <laughs> and like Laurel in the hospital bed and everyone falling apart like it just shows how big of a loss Wes is <laughs> at show writers nothing major happened but it was just it was good to see the aftermath of Wes's death and how it's affecting all the characters because they're all clearly struggling with it and stuff and you know it's important scenes to watch because I don't want them to just brush it under the rug and act as if like losing Wes is nothing to them. Yeah and I know Connor feels nothing but I we wanted to see people in that process of grieving and how they're dealing with it. Because mm. like, I really brain, hate that in like, shows. I hate it in shows when someone dies and then like mm. it's completely brushed away after an episode like it's yeah. just bs because that's not realistic at all like grief is a very like long saw, process yeah we saw their real emotions you know like asha was very visibly grieving michaela was closed off and connor was just angry at the world so it's interesting seeing their process and 
how they're dealing with it. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching our reaction to season three, episode 10 of How to Get Away with Murder. If you want to watch the episode in its entirety, then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. But don't put any pressure, it's just for people that want to watch the episodes along with us. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for episode 11. Bye.